These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here, starting off up close because today I wanted to do my review for the Monarchy Poland MV Boro RBA sitting nicely inside of this green Suicide Mods Crypt Tank. I have been enjoying the crap out of this little RBA base. This little thing, I've been running it in mouth to lung, kind of blew my mind. I'm gonna be talking a lot today about flavor. And when I mean flavor, I mean flavor for an RBA Bora. I think flavor varies greatly depending on uh, obviously where the liquid is getting vaped. Flavor is different from an RTA to a Boro, from a Boro to an RDA. Then we get pods, disposables in the mix, and everybody has an opinion on flavor. So today, when I'm talking about flavor, we're talking about flavor relative to and comparison to other Boro RBAs. On the inside, I did get spares, spare O-ring, spare grommets, spare screws, and a tool, as well as a selection of air flows. This one looks, look, none of these are labeled, and it's impossible to find this information anywhere on the internet. I know that the clone of the MV comes with a one millimeter, a 1.2, a 1.5, a 1.8, a 2.0, a 2.5, and a three millimeter, but that's none of these. This is definitely a 0 0.8. I believe what I have in there now is the one millimeter. This has gotta be a three millimeter, and this has gotta be a 3.8 or four millimeter. So I get two restricted lung and two mouth to lung. I mean, it's a pretty slick little RBA. They engraved GG, my little GG logo on the front there, which is always definitely appreciated. It's got that what I call tunnel wicking system that works flawlessly. These airflow pins are threaded in here. So I just use something like the end of my scissors to kind of get them started and unscrew them. There's obviously going to be a peak insulator between the contact pin and the rest of the RBA. Peak insulator. You tell me, one millimeter, one and a half millimeter? I'm not sure exactly. It feels, just anecdotally, it honestly kind of feels like a 1.2 millimeter. So I'm just gonna say that this is a 1.2 millimeter. That's my guess. The rest of it kind of comes apart exactly as I expected. Two-piece chimney, that monarchy crown that ends up on all of their little RBAs. This one's actually really slick, much slicker than the other ones. It's kind of got this sort of transparent clear bit at the bottom and you can see the engraving underneath. It's difficult to see, but it says Royal across the top engraved there and it's got a crown on one side. Thankfully, these are 510 threaded so I can just pop it down to any 510 threaded device. O-ring holds the top on. So as you can see, deck, two post deck, and I had to do the hanging coil because this is designed for coils that are wrapped clockwise. I don't know why counterclockwise wraps became like my standard, but myself and a lot of builders, coils that I get in the mail are wrapped counterclockwise. And as you can see, that coil is actually pretty high up. That's the part of this little RBA base that kind of blew my mind. Their suggested coil positioning for a two and a half millimeter coil is restricted direct lung low, mouth to lung high. In fact, they suggest a little bit higher than I even had mine. This right Right here goes against everything I've ever thought about mouth to lung vaping. I always try to place my coil near or directly above the airflow opening. But I will say that with this coil that high up above the airflow opening, I was getting stellar flavor. And I'm hoping to reproduce that with this coil from Twisted Timmy's. This is a micro tri-twisted fuse. It's a beautiful looking coil and thankfully it is wrapped clockwise. The M5 sort of has that slotted deck. I have the ability to take the screws completely out, which I actually like doing, but only if the screws are like grub key, hex key screws. With anything else, it's kind of a pain in the ass. So we should just be able to place this coil down in here. Oh yeah, so easy. Just get those screws loosely back on there so we can actually position our coil before we tighten it down. And this is the technique that I literally always use. The tool goes through the middle, and rests on this knuckle right here, so then I can take my hand off of the other end of the tool and then use this finger to hold my leads in place, then I use this hand to screw down the leads. That's the technique. 
Okay, not bad at all. And that coil height looks almost exactly where they want it. Machined into the side of the deck here, the MV kind of has this sort of little trough. It's just a little recessed area so I can cut my lead. I can get my clippers in there and really cut this lead short without it worrying about, you know, shorting out on the deck or shorting out on the top cap rather. It's never an issue working out the hot spots on a Twisted Timmy coil. His coils are precise. I'm leaving my coil exactly where it is per the Monarchy Poland literature. And this thing also happens to be the easiest RBA in the world to wick. I just wick it like I've always wicked every other mob. Make sure there's a lot of it so you waste a bunch. The top cap can only go on one way and it happens to go right around the wicks. Then comes off. Then we cut. Like that 850 RBA that I reviewed recently, I just leave a little puff out each side has always worked perfectly. I ended up at a 0 0.8. There's some vapors. The rest of this is crazy easy, especially if you're using something like the crypt tank. So I can just put my base in here, that crown on, kind of just goes any which way, doesn't matter, into the tank. Chimney goes in. Psh, Boosh 9000. This is good to go. And where it's good to go is inside my Astro. I'm going to use a regular billet box locking nut and I'm also using the Monarchy Poland FLT tip. Currently reading a 0.9. That's perfect. I'll fill this up. This is just a patron-made DIY 50-50 PGVG 12 milligram non-salt nicotine guava. It's actually called Cheese Your Guava Jelly. That's a long story. I can't get enough of this bridge. I just think it looks so freaking cool in the Astro and the Crypt Tank. I like looking at it. I like seeing my little engraved GG right there. I think that's sick. And more important than all of that, it happens to vape great and deliver me some rockin' ass flavor. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape it and hand out some banana stickers. Here's the thing, this is just vaping undeniably good right now. Whatever 1.2, I believe to be a 1.2 millimeter mouth to lung airflow in here is great. It is nice and smooth and the flavor on this is top notch. And again, when I say top notch, I mean top notch in the realm of Boro RBAs. You're gonna be hard pressed these days to get like really bad flavor from this small of a little RBA deck. A single coil in a little reduced chamber just translates into good flavor. And in amongst Boro tanks, this MV is giving me top tier flavor. Monarchy has just top notch production, top notch machining, everything fits together flawlessly. The crown fits on there, the cap fits on there. This is hyper easy to build, assuming that the coil is clockwise wrapped and hyper easy to wick kind of no matter what. I can somewhat haphazardly pull the right amount of cotton through here, clip it off on the sides, drip it, fill it up, and it wicks. I have never had a problem wicking the MV, I mean, or the Mob, or the Mob 2, or the Mob Mini, or inner, any of the Monarchy Poland Inners, RBAs, ever. They just wick and work. It's almost foolproof. If Grim Green can do it, trust me. With this easy of a bridge to build and re-wick, and these new Crypt tanks, it's making Making it's making the whole Boro experience a lot less weird and small and tiny and fiddly. I don't dread rewicking this like I do some other Boros. You know, with all of the attention to detail that Monarchy Poland put into this, with that clear crown and the engraving behind it, and even like my custom GG logo on the front. With all that attention to detail and precision and fit and finish, it absolutely kills me that the little airflow pins are not engraved with the size that they are in any way. And I think that's the thing that's going to keep this in the nine and one half of a banana sticker territory. It's almost freaking Perfect. Include some more air flows and engrave those air flows. And man, this could be a contender for RBA of the year. I really only use Boro stuff now for mouth to lung. I'm not super satisfied 
not just with this, but with any of the restricted lungs in Boro, I tend to lean towards an RTA for a restricted lung. And for mouth to lung, the MV, I love it. I love it. I'm using it. I'm rambling. Clearly, this is the end of the video. I can't tell you how much these cost or where to get them, but you know, I'm guessing that these are expensive. I'll tell you this though, come here. If you smoke cigarettes, knock it off. It's 2023, better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market for you in the description of this video. I'm gonna put links to just science and just education. Yeah, this has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so. The rest of this is crazy easy, especially if you're using something like the...